During yesterday's live stream, we actually spoke about a ticker that had a higher probability upside. We also marked off the potentials of the resistance and we also signaled the potential for a continuation beyond that target. Welcome back to the channel. This is Arca. Let's take a look at ticker symbol NVOS. Let's kill him. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. Let's go ahead and dive into ticker symbol NVOS and give this a quick look, right? I have a lot of people asking me about the ticker, and uh, they asked me to kind of put together a thingy here, right? So, <laughs> oh, my dude, thanks so much for asking me, my bro. You know who you are, man. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this, right? So, here was the play. Here is the play that we were speaking of yesterday, right? So, we were talking, well, actually, starting from... Uh, what, what's the date right now? Starting from the th uh, from the 28th, right, where, was where we uh, discovered that we have a downside coming in, right? So we, were, we failed the inflection zone, which was this here, right? And then we signaled the potential of coming back down to this area in particular for a loading, right? So we, in fact, got that pretty much right at the penny. Uh, that was a 1247 bottom, and this candle ended up coming with a 1250. So... Uh, <laughs> Very, uh, very curious times there, right? So our play was to start validating here the potentials of an upside. Okay, so this was the uh, this was the higher probability. And you know what? I forgot that we even look we looked at this. I would have posted this on on X or Twitter or whatever. Um, that uh, my top support was actually twenty three forty two, but I was giving you guys this uh, a shorter target. I think it was around. Uh, what was it, 19 to 22 cents or something like that, right? But I, damn it, man, this is why we got to keep the receipts and remember what we said. All right, so the, yeah, this is the original play. We were talking about potentially coming up to this range here, maybe even that side of around 1958, which is a, what I think I gave you today. And we would pull back to start validating the newly converted resistance into support, right? So we, in fact, we, in fact, reached the top side of our range. We were speaking of about a 2342, but the candle came up to a high of 24. So with, I guess, within 68, and I'm sorry, 0 0.0068 cents <laughs> away from our target, right? So now this was not the end of the story here, though, right? So, uh, I just I want to point out here that we were already speaking of a potential 53 spot 86 percent gain if you were to have gained uh, gain entry from the resistance or I'm sorry from the conversion of resistance into support right here okay so we said that around 1527 we could gain that entry for the conservative trader if you are an aggressive trader then this was the range for for entry right down here 1247 to 1349 Okay, so, but yeah, if it were up to me, like I said, I would honestly just wait for the entry to come back down into that area of around 15 cents, then get that upside to take profit for a 54% move to the upside. Very nice. Now, uh, we want to look at the other potentials here, though, because I didn't know that there was a fundamental uh, catalyst in line for this thing whatsoever. It's just I was just asked to look at it. Right, so let's take a look at this trend line here from the hypotenuse of the triangle to the bottom side of the triangle to determine where this price action can go to. Okay, now notice how I have this here, 33.15. That is my next target that I, that, that you know, <laughs> that we could see, right? So, um, which is uh, a range as well, right? Between 33.15 and 38.71. So, Arca, how could you have seen this, right? It's not that I saw it, it's just that this is how to trade a triangle. Right. And, and I said also that we were already, you know, pretty much approaching the 70, uh, 65 to 70 percent to the apex of the triangle, which is typical for it to break out. Right. And the upside targets are based from the center of the triangle here. So let me give you that. Right. Just so that we can uh, kind of keep the kind of keep the room uh, clean here. Right. Let's just make sure that we are making sense over what this play looked like from our perspective over the last two days. Uh, two or three days, that is, right? So here you go. This was the breakout candle right over here, right? We were, we were suggesting the breakout pretty much where we are here, okay? So this is the top side of the resistance, landing at that 20, uh, I'll just highlight it right here. It says 2283. 
corrected to 2342 with a 1958 bottom side of the resistance. Okay, so uh, impressively enough, we got that uh, that top side to meet our our target almost directly. Okay, so yeah, so now let's focus on the direction of the asset. So let's look at the immediate short-term time frame. Let's look at let's observe volatility and momentum, and this will uh, you know honestly give us a pretty a uh, solid answer over what could potentially be happening. Remember, remember that this is now heavily driven by psychology. So when you apply that psychological component, things get a little tough, right? So now let me just go ahead and put this on regular candles. Now that we, uh, whatever, we, we just saw huge momentum, right? Okay, uh, so 30 minute time frame doesn't take a uh, rocket scientist to notice here that we are completely overbought way, way overexpanded in volatility as well, suggesting a continuation of shares being traded. Remember, this happened in the after hours at pretty much uh, the open at 1 p.m., right? Huge run up on this thing. And uh, now look at the uh, look at the RSI suggesting a potential downside, right? So I see a curve here which could be corrective and it may suggest a continuation ever so slightly to the downside and then and, and then an upside. We are getting some decreasing bull pressure here on the MACD and some slight curvature as well. Notice as well that we are getting some take profits. There is This is the uh, SMI versus MFI, which is stochastic uh, momentum versus money flow index. The histogram is suggesting outbound cash, right? So now let's go ahead and... Um, Take a look at the 15 minute. Okay, 15 minute is giving us that downside pivot. Let's see, 10 minute also giving us that downside pivot. We're start. We got that bearish crossover on the MACD. This is immediate short term though. This is really really fast. Okay, in the five minute time frame, it's showing a little bit of a correction move here. But notice how we're very close to the resistance on the SMA 14. Okay, so yeah, what, what I'm expecting here is a potential loading zone. So we would get, uh, uh, I mean, if this is, uh, what is this, by the way? NVOS, NASDAQ ticker. Yeah, I guess in the early pre-market, there may be an opportunity to get long this asset, right? And that's, uh, it's going to be very short-lived. So if, if I were to put any, any type of guess here, then I would honestly have to, man, I don't know how far down it can go, but it doesn't look like it would go down that much. But remember, psychological component here. This is, it, it, this like everyone's edge gets diminished immediately once you once you uh, apply a psychological component, like like FOMO. That that's literally what I'm speaking of. But yeah, I'm looking at this potential range: twenty-one thirty-seven to twenty-one ninety-eight. And there is also, of course, we have to keep this in mind, 1958. Okay, so let, let's keep that in mind. But it looks like the downside is very, very short-lived. As we move on to the buy hourly time frame, you can see here that we're increasing volatility. Uh, I know that there's a little tiny ebb and flow here, but that's, I, I, don't, I don't really see that as nothing. Uh, the, the buy hourly time frame is actually increasing the inbound cash. And stochastic momentum has just entered the bullish control zone, barely. Now let's see the three-hour time frame. Three-hour time frame is in the bullish control zone with an upside pivot, increasing volatility. MACD is still facing to the upside, right? And this little uh, ebb and flow again. I really wouldn't trust that too much, though. Now jumping into the four-hour into the four-hour time frame, where it's absolutely minimum for me. Take a look at this upside pivot on stochastics increasing volatility meaning that we're going towards expansion that means that we're trading more shares we have a completely uh you know upside signal here on the rsi and a brand new crossover on the four hour macd so uh the upside is still being read on the six hour time frame stochastic increasing volatility upside on that damn and, and a new uh, green bar here on the macd eight hour time frame uh <laughs> barely starting that upside pivot here uh, entering critical expansion again. This is in the bullish control zone here with an upside pivot, and we're about to create a crossover on the eight-hour time frame. Okay, so, uh, yeah, team, like like I said, everything is pointing up. Everything is pointing up. All the way, the 12-hour time frame even, right? And then uh, let me just, just for the hell of it, right? Let's see the daily. The daily is starting to correct here. And uh, I, I don't know if this is actually going to get a, a, you know, uh, some more red here. I think that this is just going to correct uh, 
uh, itself because of the shorter time frames being so damn bullish. But remember that at any point, remember this, okay? Remember at any point when these assets run up on news, they tend to sell off and taper off pretty fast, okay? So it's, it's not the best thing for us to just get these immediate pumps. It's not good, okay? It's not good. That means that, in, that, means that a correction could be, uh, could happen at any moment. And, and because it's psychologically driven, we don't know when that can be. But if I were to put the most wild guess here, is just that all these time frames are suggesting upside, which is honestly giving me. Uh, I, I'm going to give you a. I'm going to give you a medium point, okay, just in case it it fails to go all the way up to that 3251. I see one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of jot it down for us to keep in mind, right? We're gonna we're, we can keep an eye on this. Just remind me in the live stream tomorrow at 6:30, 6:40 a.m. Uh, and we'll observe, right? So th this is essentially what I'm kind of looking at here uh full discretion here team this is not a back test this is not statistical this is absolutely discretion 2832 to 3006 is the is that next potential right but my eyes are really set to this target here 3315 to 3871 and remember um this is not financial advice but please remember do not hold this like that when we get these fast pumps to the upside what goes up fast must come down fast Okay, it's not good for an asset to do this this crazy up run like this. The asset will likely impulsively move to the upside and then mean revert. Okay, it'll come back to its fair value, consolidate, maybe even lower because of, out of all that fear that you're going to not have any gains at all, and then leave a bunch of people bag holding at this high at this high top. Okay, please be very careful with this. And to be very honest with you, I am not trading this. I am not touching it, not even with a ten foot pole. Okay, so if you're not already in, ah, this is a complete gamble. Okay, it's just what I'm saying. We're not, Argo Bulls team, you already know me. We're not gamblers. We are traders. All right, team? So please, please, please. Although it really does sound like gambling all the time, right? But you know what I mean, damn it. All right? Anyway, so <laughs> let's go ahead and cut this video here. I think uh, that was a pretty good place to leave off. What the heck is going on there, man? There we go. Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of uh, entertainment. Man, I pressed the wrong buttons here. Um, yeah, I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets, team. Okay, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, I wish you well. A very good night and I'll catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios. 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 Yeah.